Today, we will be talking about Johnny, who suffered from a severe case of angina. But first, let's back up to the beginning. Oh wait, that's a little too far back. Now that's more like it. Johnny was having a nice day while relaxing on the couch and reading a newspaper. Suddenly, he felt a squeezing, burning feeling in his chest. He yelled out to his wife, Bonnie, my chest really hurts. What does it feel like? It feels like a heavy weight on my chest. What should I do? Here, just stop reading and lie down. But for Johnny, this wasn't just the first time. Johnny had experienced this feeling before, yet this time, it was different. No, you don't understand. I felt this type of feeling before, but now it feels so much worse. Bonnie calls the hospital and describes Johnny's symptoms. My husband is suffering from a condition. His chest hurts and he is feeling dizzy and nauseous. He also seems to have shortness of breath. Johnny is rushed to Seattle Grace Hospital in an ambulance as soon as possible. Johnny's doctor, Dr. Meredith Gray, explains to Johnny and Bonnie what exactly happened to him. Hi Johnny. Unfortunately, you have suffered a case of angina, which is a symptom of coronary artery disease. <gasps> what does that mean? It means that there has been reduced blood flow to your husband's heart muscle. Johnny experienced a severe form of angina, which is unstable angina. Johnny, have you ever experienced this type of feeling in your chest in the past? Yes, but it didn't feel as severe as it was today. In the past, it only lasted about five minutes. Yes, that was stable angina, which usually develops when your heart works harder, such as when you exercise or climb stairs. However, today you experience unstable angina which is more severe and lasts longer than stable angina, about as long as 30 minutes. How long did the chest pain last? It lasted about 30 minutes. Usually, when angina lasts more than 5 minutes, it could be a sign that you're having a heart attack. Today, you were lucky. You we were able to improve your blood flow so that your heart muscle did not deprive of oxygen, which causes the heart attack. So, what exactly happened to cause decreased blood flow in Johnny? Here, let me provide you with a diagram for a more detailed explanation. The pain your husband experienced today was caused by thrombi, also known as a blood clot, which cause blocked arteries, which are the most frequent cause of angina. When your arteries are too narrow, your heart doesn't get enough blood that is able to flow through the arteries to supply the heart muscle with enough oxygen. It wasn't as long to cause a heart attack, but long enough to cause pain. Unstable angina is very predictive of a future heart attack. So angina is basically just another word for a heart attack? No, and that's what most people tend to think. Here, let me describe a scenario that will help you better understand. Imagine you're fishing and you catch a fish, and you take the fish out of the water. The fish is struggling, and there are two things you can do. One is you can put the fish back in the water. If you put the fish back in water, the fish survives. That is angina. So if we give medications or we restore blood supply, the heart muscle survives. If you take the fish out while it's struggling and you put it in your basket, the fish dies and that is when a heart attack occurs. Ah, I see. So, what are the risk factors for angina? The risk factors that increase your risk of angina are things such as tobacco use, diabetes, high blood pressure and cholesterol, older age, history of heart disease, lack of exercise, and even stress. When you refer to older age, about how old? Great question! Men older than 45 and women older than 55 have a greater risk to angina than younger adults do. Is there anything that my husband can do in order to prevent angina from happening again in the future? Of course, I would suggest that your husband takes medications since he experienced unstable angina today, such as nitrates. Nitrates relax and widen your blood vessels, allowing more blood to flow to your heart muscle. You might take a nitrate when you have angina-related chest discomfort before doing something that normally triggers angina, such as exercise. As well, aspirin reduces the ability of your blood to clot, making it easier for blood to flow through narrowed heart arteries. Preventing blood clots can also reduce your risk of a heart attack happening from angina. Overall, it is important to keep a healthy diet as well as regular exercise. If you smoke, quitting would also be a good option. 
Well, thank you so much for describing to us what angina is. We were worried before. Glad to be of assistance. We would like to keep Johnny under observation of Dr. Derek Shepard for the next few hours. After that, you are free to go home. A few hours later, Johnny was able to go home. After his diagnosis, he lived a long and happy life. He quit smoking, exercised daily, and lived long enough to see many grandchildren and great-grandkids. When he eventually died, it was because of natural causes.